morning and welcome to my listening audience. I greet you in the wonderful name of Jesus, my Savior, Lord, and soon coming King. It gives me a great pleasure to share with you today from God's Word, and I would like to take this opportunity to thank my senior pastors, Reverends Lloyd and Norma Hart, for this opportunity. Before we start our session today, let us pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this day and for all who are listening to this message. Holy Spirit, take complete control. Let this message go forth and minister to the hearers. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Yesterday, we looked at blessed is the man that standeth not in the way of sinners. When we stand in the way or in the path of sinners, we end up doing what they do or go going where they go. And I led us stray as we follow their directives. But when we stand for God, this is a part that leads to blessing. I would like to read over Psalms 1 verse 1. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. Today our emphasis is on blessed is the man that sitteth not in the seat of the scornful. When we walk in the counsel of the ungodly, we start to transform. As we continue to stand in the way of sinners, the transformation continues. Finally, when we sit in the seat of the scornful, we have reached an all-time low. Sitting in the seat of the scornful implies a total transformation, a place of permanence and comfort, a place of deep-seated evil. The man who sitteth does not refer to the man who may casually walk along with them or stand in their way where sinners normally go. But he has now become one of them. He is seated with them. He has deliberately chosen to associate with them, to take up residence among the wicked. He sits and abides in the seat of the scornful. The word scornful means those who mock, deride, scoff, or those who treat virtue and religion with contempt and scorn. It clearly shows a higher degree of wickedness at this level. He's been totally transformed. We have to be careful about how we sit. Are we mockers or scoffers of virtue and things of God? Are we gossiping and backbiting and criticizing Christians? Are we in total derision of the things of God? Are we pulling down pastors and workers of the Lord without cause? Check yourself. You cannot associate with bad fruit and don't expect to be tainted by it. As Paul stated in 1 Corinthians 15 33, be not deceived. Evil communication corrupt good manners. Instead, we ought to seek after righteousness. Today, I urge you to stop the gossiping, the backbiting, the criticizing, the evil speaking about your fellow believers. Rather, pray for them. But don't allow yourself to fall into the trap of the enemy. The Bible tells us in James 3.10, Out of the same mouth proceeded blessing and cursing. My brethren, these things ought not to be. If we call ourselves children of God or, or the blessed of God, we need to walk humbly before our God. We need to show forth good conversation that would uplift edify, encourage, correct, instruct our fellow saints of God in righteousness. When others are putting down or criticizing Christians, don't join in. Don't take part. This is wrong. Instead, we should be proud to follow Jesus Christ. He has set the example for us to follow. 
be sold out to Jesus. Talk about him wherever you go. Don't be afraid. God got your back. Let us also continue to lift up ourselves by speaking to, to ourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in our hearts to the Lord. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word to our hearts. Today, let us continue to earnestly seek after you. Let us emulate Jesus as we speak the truth in love, as we encourage each other in your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Join me tomorrow as we continue to examine Psalms 1 verses 1 to 3. Tomorrow we will be examining verse 2. His delight is in the law of the Lord and in his law that he meditate day and night. Thank you for listening and do have a wonderfully blessed day.